What's up guys, my name is Scorpion, your host, and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, I will be showing you two attacks from our SCWR Wars. So let's jump straight into the action. Alright guys, we're on to the first base. Uh, before I actually show the replays, I'll actually show you my attack planning on each of the base and what, what my thought process is and how to execute the plan. So when I saw this base layout, I thought, hey, this is fairly similar to a really popular Tunnel 12 base layout. The only difference is it's a Tunnel 13. So I know with these two wizard towers up here at 12 o'clock and also the scatter shot, you can distract these defenses with two ice golems which will allow you to do a bat bomb on top of that inferno be able to take out all that splash damage to wizard towers the scatter shots the inferno then those bats are going to come down to where the air defenses are the eagle and that's going to take out that entire area which will allow me to send dragons in at that town hall but first i need to be able to create the funnel for the dragons to go in so what we're going to use is once all those defenses are down we're going to use a baby dragon up at 12 o'clock we're going to use a baby dragon and two balloons to take out the archer tower. Those balloons are going to go onto the mortar and then the cannon. And we're going to use minions also. So I'm carrying quite a few minions just to make sure I get that funnel correct. And our next step is we need to clear the 3 o'clock section down towards where the enemy king is and also that air defense. So I'm going to use an ice golem. Then I'm going to drop the queen, so the ice golem is going to tank for the queen a little bit. The king is going to go down and also the royal champion and that's going to funnel out down towards 6 o'clock and then that will allow me a direct path to the town hall. So let's jump into the attack and we'll see it. So down goes the two ice golems, I drop the rage spell, down goes the freeze spell, down goes the bats. Everything is frozen up, the two ice golems die and then freeze up everything else. And now the bats are going to progress down to these two air defenses, down to the eagle. And now there's nothing much what's going to stop them. So down go the two baby dragons, down goes the balloons. Uh, these bats do eventually die out at the archer tower, so crazy value I got there. With two ice golems, uh, my bats. And now it's just a matter of creating that funnel, being patient. The queen is doing work and taking down these uh, defenses here. Those two balloons there were magic because that stopped the queen going in. And she stays on the outside and creates the funnel. So what I do with my initial balloons is I drop them lower so they target that inferno. And once I saw them target that inferno, I knew I could drop my dragons a bit higher. So they go straight towards that clan castle. Down goes the Grand Warden. And once I get close to this town hall, I'll freeze up the sweeper and also the town hall. I'm at 65% already. And then once that CC goes down, I drop a rage spell, time the Grand Warden tone perfectly and everything split nicely over to the single inferno down to the scatter shot as you can see i still got six minions in the bag that was for that initial funnel if it if there happens to be sort of tezzas up there i could drop a couple of balloons and then i make sure i got that initial funnel down packed but uh stone sam is still up balloons are still up plenty of dragons still up minions go down just to help out the stone slammer will pop over this last wizard tower but i've got max balloons inside and uh, yeah, this base is smashed. You can do the same thing with the Town 12 version as well. So let's jump into our next attack and it'll be a Yeti attack. All right guys, on to our second base layout. And when I saw this base, I knew this would be perfect for Yeti smash as I knew that a quad quake right in the section is going to open up all three of these compartments and that queen is going to draw my yeti straight down into that last compartment and this target rich environment down that bottom section there which the yetis will be able to take out so how am i going to get into the space jump spell to gain access to the town hall super easy to funnel with the collectors uh pecker on each of those collectors 
my yetis, my healers, and also my siege barracks are the white lines, which are going to go straight into the base. And I'm also going to rage over the top of the town hall and rage at the center compartment. Poison spell for the CC. And depending on which way my hogs go from the siege barracks, I'll either heal uh, the section where over on the left hand side and bring my royal champion from the left hand side. If my hogs go to the right hand side, I'll heal the right hand side and bring in my royal champion from that side. I also carry in some extra balloons. They're going to be for the mortar and to pick off extra defenses. All right, guys, we're into the attack now. I start off by dropping the quad quake. I open up all these walls here. And now it's just a matter of placing that jump spell, starting off with that initial funnel. I also bring a balloon directly behind the yetis before I drop the healers. It's also always important to do that just in case there's any black mines just around that town hall section. You'd rather have those black mines hitting that balloon. As you see there, two black mines go off. I save two healers there. CC is drawn, down goes the poison spell. I did miss the witch uh, slightly here, so everything is actually held up here for a little bit. And once I get past that witch, everything will go towards the town hall. Grand Warden Tome goes off. My hogs do come over to the left hand side to 10 o'clock. So then I plan on dropping the Royal Champion, which will go to the Archer Tower. I've still got those three balloons just to help pick off any defenses at the back end. I'll heal up that section, keep those hogs alive. Down goes the Royal Champion for the Arch Tower. And now I will drop a balloon for the Mortar. The Tesla farm on this base here is at the 6 o'clock section. So I'll save two balloons for those uh, Tezzas. And I'll actually swag my King ability and the Royal Champion ability on this attack. I do hit, hit them uh, right at the very end just to speed up the process. Also very important to make sure you have plenty of cleanup. I always bring a couple of extra wizards. I always bring five uh, minions and like I said those balloons. There's nothing worse than having say 99 on the board. You've still got plenty of troops. They're running out of time and there happens to be say a cannon up in the top 12 o'clock section or over at 3 o'clock section what you've missed or even say a king pad. So always bring that extra clean up, bring those extra balloons. You can certainly use them somewhere on the base even to help the clean up process. And as you see, I still got the king ability, I still got the royal champion ability, all the defenses are down now. And I've still got plenty of time on the clock. And I think this was uh, just over a two minute raid. So hope you guys will like this video. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, click that like button, and I'll see you in the next one.